I cleaned up. I was booked and busy from the first week we opened. I was booked up to a point where I had to tell people, look, listen, I have to put you on a waiting list. That's how busy I was. And that moment I was just like, yes, that like you've proved that universe has my back. I went from again, earning 4K a month. Right now, uh, right now, just for now, just for now, I'm earning about 300 pounds a month. It is a big risk. It's scary as fuck. Yes, I know, I know. But you just need to trust, believe in yourself and you get it. Just keep moving forward. Don't be so attached to the end goal. Enjoy the moment, be in the present moment. Everything you do, be intentional. Hey guys, welcome back to the Celia Lee Show. It's your girl Celia Lee here today. So today is another solo episode. Have you ever uh, been in a job and you're bored of it now because it's no longer challenging and you want to move to a new company or a new role because you just want new challenges? Um, or you want to quit your nine to five job to pursue your dream, which is starting your business, to start your own business, but you don't but you're held back by fear. You're scared to take the risk. I have. Because let me tell you my example. And I want to tell you this, first of all. Please do take risk. Like risk, where, where there is discomfort is where the growth is. Sometimes, you know what? Like, you know when people say like investing, the, the higher the risk, the bigger the reward. And so if, you're, if you can overcome your fear and actually take the risk and go for what you want, you will grow and the outcome, like, you will get so much out of it. Anyway, let me tell you what happened, basically, my my experience. Um, First of all, the universe, or God, whatever you believe in, always has your back. Always has your back. You just need to trust the process and just surrender. Yeah? Let me give you an example. So, let's go go back. So, before I was a personal trainer, I used to be in events. I used to be an events manager. So, um, for five years. And in those five years, I was working for, I've worked for three... is it three different companies or four? Anyway, yeah, I think about five, six years. Anyway, so then on the last company that I worked for before moving on to personal training, let me say this is how it happened, the way they transitioned. Imagine I left a nine, uh, a well-paid job. It wasn't really nine to five because it was flexible. But anyway, let's call it a nine to five job. A, f- a, a stable stable income. I was earning good money, okay? I left that job to become a personal trainer. And personal training, if you're you're a personal trainer, you know that you only make money if you have clients. So I went from stable income earning this much where my income will be unstable, basically, right? So I took the risk. So what happened? I'm telling you, it was scary as fuck. It was so scary. But I I just had the faith. And also, do you know what? I was so desperate to get out of that job. So the job that I had that I left, I actually really liked it when I first applied to it. I really liked it because it was literally what I wanted to do. Um, I'm... I've always wanted to organize a massive event, like um, like a convention type of event where there's 5,000 people or more. And I, and I got to do that. I'm, um, I organized three of them with that company, one in uh, Miami, two in London. Anyway, so, but basically what happened was why I left that company because, so I passed the probation, passed the probation, but then after the probation f- finished, they then set up a new department and they set up a new role and then they wanted me to take on that new role because I'm the only person that is qualified for that. And I think they'd rather me, um, me do it than look for someone externally, hire, hire another person, hire another person. And in the end, I accepted it basically. And so they put me back on probation. But because that, that role was new and there was nothing going on. There was no jobs, nothing like that. We didn't have any any events to to, to organize. I hated it so much because every single day I was going to into the office, just researching, researching, filling this spreadsheet with uh, um, venues or all that kind of stuff. It was just so boring. Um, I know some people might be like, yeah, but you, but Celia, you're still getting paid for just doing research. Yeah, but I'm the kind of person that if it's not stimulating, I'd rather not earn that money. That's just me. Anyway, so so in the end, so whilst I'm in that job. I went to look for, I, start, um, I was already qualified as a PS personal trainer, by the way. So I thought, you know what? This is time for me to move on to personal training. So anyway, so I was working actually both jobs, working as an events manager and then working um, as a PT part-time because um, the events manager, uh, the events job is during the daytime and the PT was during nighttime. So I only worked like three days a week for um, the, 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 the PT job. Anyway, now because I went to the gym in the evening, 
they wanted me in that that new role they needed me to go to networking events and i hate going to networking events i just think it's so fake don't get me wrong i'm good at talking socializing but when you put me in a networking event with the intention of networking i can't do it it's so unnatural for me anyway so because i didn't do that i didn't perform fast forward three months later um, the manager was like to me, okay, so it's your, today's your pr- end of your probation, blah, blah, blah. So basically, um, you know, we didn't think you performed and you didn't pass your probation. So we're going to have to let you go. Listen, I was so relieved. I was so happy to hear that. I I was just like, okay, but I didn't want to show it. So I was just like, okay. And then the manager was like, oh, I'm sure you are really relieved. You're probably really happy to hear that. Oh God, even he knew that. I was just, I was just like, oh, no 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 you know I'm, I'm gonna miss the team but thinking deep down inside i would not miss the, miss the team i was freaking would not even talk to them i know i would not talk to them anyway because i just didn't get along with them anyway so then um t- after that meeting uh the way he uh, basically i can leave that same day i packed my stuff so quick i said bye to everyone oh my god I'm telling you i'm telling you i was running down those stairs so happy and feeling relieved so so now then I'm like, shit, my income is now here. I was here and now I'm here. Because at the time I only had one client, I think, or two, I can't remember. So I, and also I had a, at the time I had a Mercedes on finance, so I can't afford to pay that anymore. And the freaking insurance was expensive, man. Anyway, so, and I was panicking. I was thinking, oh my God, like, shall, I get an- shall I go back to events? Shall I find another job? What, sh- what do I do? I said to myself, trust the process you're gonna get free clients you're gonna get clients trust it within three weeks i was just on the gym floor on my sh- during my shift two clients came up to me two person came up to me not at the same time within three weeks both of them signed up to train with me three times a week i could not believe it and then after there's another so then in total within that three weeks i had three clients signed up training two to three times a week and that is when my PT career started really lift off lifted off and that moment I was just like yes that like it proved that universe has my back as soon as I let go and I just thought you know what that's it I made a decision I'm gonna go full-time PT in this is what I want to do now it happened right that's number that's the first example second example is um um moving to a different gym to be honest i was actually getting but this is after four years or five years of being personal training no four years of personal training in that gym i was just getting bored now i wasn't challenging anymore but i felt like i wasn't i haven't done enough i haven't given my given my all but then an opportunity came a new gym a new brand new gym was opening near me where i lived and i was like oh my god petrol is not expensive it's not cheap either so only makes sense to move to that gym and it's a, it's the same um it's p- also pure gym so i was like you know what i'm let me make a transfer to go to that gym and the risk for that one was it's a brand new gym meaning it hasn't even opened yet so i'll be one of the first pt so but meaning i'll be starting from scratch again so listen to this when you sometimes when you in life when you take a risk when you say you want to make changes they're always going to be some p- naysayers there's some people who be like they put they, they project their fears onto you they'd be like so because when i was m- making my move some of my colleagues at my old gym was like celia are you sure about this move because you know you're taking a massive risk here you don't even know what that um that new gym is like um what the clientele is like you're starting from scratch when they said this though, I'm not gonna lie, I'm just like, mm, okay, yeah, yeah, no, I hear you. But in my head, I'm like, you're just hating that I'm moving. <laughs> you're just hating that I'm taking, that I'm going to a brand new gym and you're stuck in it, you know? But anyway. <laughs> there was one teeny bit of me thinking, yeah, you're right. Am I taking a risk? Is this the right decision? But anyway, I went through with it. And what happened? I cleaned up. I cleaned up. I was booked and busy from the first week we opened i was booked up to a point where i had to tell people look listen i have to put you on a waiting list that's how busy i was yeah so i took the risk that's the second one number three the third one um third one is which is now the situation i'm in i quit personal training i decided i'm finally done with personal training i'm ready to move on to the next chapter which is um, doing life coaching, doing more women empowerment, um, 
related activities like events and this podcast. Um, I wanted to focus on this podcast, so I decided I'm going to quit personal training. I went from again earning 4k a month. Right now, I'm, uh, right now, just for now, just for now, I'm earning about 300 pounds a month. I'm not even joking. People think when I said, oh, right now I'm really broke. They think I'm just like, yeah, I'm just being stingy. No, I'm actually only, literally, I'm not even joking, earning, I'm surviving on 300 pounds a month. And how am I surviving? Thank goodness. I'm so grateful that I'm still living with my parents. Um, they're not charging me rent, nothing. And they're being really supportive. Um, and yeah, so I took that risk. Um, and I'm really enjoying this journey. And anyway, Talk about risk, right? Let me tell you something. So when there's risk and when you get scared, you automatically will be like, shall I get a job? When things are not really going your way, you'll be like, oh shit, shall I get a part-time job maybe? So maybe you help. So me and, me and my friend had this conversation. He said he's also a creative and he's an artist as well. And uh, he went and got a part-time job, right? But anyway, he, he <laughs> the day he was supposed to start that job, he didn't even turn, he didn't go. He said, he called them up and said, oh, this is not for me. And he goes, and he said to me, Celia, when I applied the job for the job, I was in, I was desperate because I thought, oh man, I need to pay bills. I've got I've got two sons and blah, blah, things like that. But then he thought, but then that morning he woke up, he was like, I'm just, I'm just not, he just felt like he was betraying himself. He's not honoring himself. Like, what am I doing? Why am I going backwards? So, and I said to him, you know what? I said to him, you see me, when I made a decision, I only go forward, I never go backwards, I never look back. So the fact that I made this, this, this decision to quit personal training, I'm only going to move forward. I may, sta- I may stand still for a bit, I may stand still for a bit until I figure out my next move, but I'm never going to look back because that's regressing. And I'm trusting the process, it's hard, yes it's hard, trust me, it's hard, but I'm loving every single bit of it but I'm only going to look forward because I know bigger things are coming. Bigger things are coming. So just, so be, people, what I'm trying to say here is, yes, it's a bisque, uh, bisque, it is a big risk. It's scary as fuck. Yes, I know, I know. But you just need to trust, believe in yourself, and you get it. Just keep moving forward. Don't be so attached to the end goal. Enjoy the moment. Be in the present moment. Everything you do, be intentional. Be intentional, and it will lead you lead you to your your end goal. Right now, obviously, I'm not where I want to be yet, but so far the journey has been amazing. Um, so, for example, like I pretty much I sold all my I sold my bitcoin, all the bit the bits of bitcoins I've got. My, uh, my I sold my Ethereum, the Ethereum. So I've had a whole Ethereum. I sold that. I pretty much use all my money, all my savings. My parents helped me as well, and to build this personal brand, put all my money on the personal brand and also this podcast. And so far, the results have been amazing. My guy, the branding guy, who's been helping me with my personal brand, has built an amazing landing page um help me with the logo you've seen the logo so so far the results the reward i've been getting have been amazing so i'm just like loving it and i and i believe that the universe is what is is with me so i'm going to use train as analogy the train this train is always going forward it's only going forward right it never it's never going to go back it's just going forward and, the, and and this train has different carriages now like i said i'm, I'm not going to look back i'm only going to go forward my journey is only going forward so anyway the only thing i will do is in that train i will just move to this carriage to this carriage to this carriage that's all i'm doing but my, i'm always moving forward until i get to my destination in fact there is not there, is, there isn't really a desti- destination there, re- there isn't really a destination because once you reach reach a destination you will want to go to the next one anyway you know so yeah i guess there is a temporary destination because you always want to go to the next one so yeah people like overcome that fear there is no such thing as obstacles i know a lot of times we think oh we have all but we have all these obstacles listen obstacle doesn't exist unless you allow it to exist and also a lot of times i think we're scared of failure and scared of what people will say you know so like imposter syndrome is also is all is, is is real it's another big thing right that's what hold is that's what's holding us back people say celia do you have imposter syndrome of course i do all the time but i just always manage to come to overcome it and one thing i always remind myself i say this there are 
billions of people in this world. The world population is, I don't know, was it seven, seven billion? I can't remember how many, right? So are you telling me you're going to let the handful of people, the people in your network, which is probably, let's just, let's just say 500 people, let's just say, right? Let these 500 people hold you back. And what is that you want to pursue? When just the 1% of that world population can be, will feel inspired and admire what you do. The world, that 1% of world population are my people. Not the 500 people. They might be, but I'm not going to care what they say. I don't, I'm not going to use them. If I'm like scared of what they are freaking going to say about me, I will never get, I will, I will always be held back. I'm just going to think about the world population. That's it. That's it. Guys, if you're watching this, it's because you reached to the end. You really watched it to the end or listened to the end. Like, I'm so grateful for you. Like, thank you so much for your love and support. Um, it would mean the world to me if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel or follow me and actually not all and follow on Spotify. Give me a like. And if you want to connect with me, get to know me more, then follow me on Instagram at I am Lee. All right. See you in the next episode. Mwah.